Okay, hi guys, welcome back to the channel or if you're just stumbling across today's video, my name is Emma. So in today's video, I'm gonna be coming at you guys with all of my current favorites. Um, but they're not just my current favorites. They're pretty much all of my favorite things that I've been doing or eating or listening to um, in quarantine. So obviously, as you guys are well aware, we are all in quarantine. And I feel like it's very important to find some things that make you happy, bring you joy, bring you comfort, whatever you're looking for. I think it's really important, especially during these times, to find those things. So I thought it would be really helpful and fun for you guys to watch if I showed you guys a ton of my favorite things that I've been doing in quarantine or that have kind of kept my spirits high um, and just kind of made this overall quarantine experience a little bit more comfortable, if that makes sense. So I gathered all of my favorite things in different categories. So we're gonna be talking about fashion, lifestyle beauty we're also gonna be talking about like TV music entertainment kind of thing as well so um, without further ado I guess let's get into the video okay so I wrote everything down on my phone so I don't miss out on anything um, so the first category is fashion and the first favorite I want to talk about is honestly the most obvious one and that is loungewear and I just feel like in general loungewear is like the only thing people are purchasing right now or maybe like self-care in general um, but obviously I am one of those and I have been loving Loving loungewear that's all I've been wearing and I actually made a full video with all of like my favorite loungewear sweatsuits and all that kind of stuff so if you guys are interested in seeing that I'll have it linked down below for you guys um, but yeah I just wanted to add that to the list because it's definitely at the top of it so kind of along the lines of loungewear I wanted to show you guys some specific loungewear that I've been enjoying so I've been really into like two-piece underwear sets and like bra and underwear lingerie kind of deal um, I've been really into those two-piece sets so I recently ordered a few and I thought I would just show you like my top two so obviously you guys know and if you don't then you should but I've been obsessed with the new skims cotton collection I actually purchased a few pieces from skims in general but I've been loving this little set right here um, I think it is so cute it's such a pretty color but most importantly it's obviously super comfortable um, I think the bralette's probably my favorite bralette I've ever owned in my life so if that doesn't say anything I don't know what does but yeah I've been just loving the skims I've actually just placed a second order or maybe it's my third or fourth now honestly I don't even know because I've placed so many orders on skims I think they're just super comfortable super chic um, and it just kind of makes you feel good while also being comfortable so that's why I really like skims they're one of my favorite little sets that I recently got is actually a little bit more bougie obviously but it's by Dolce & Gabbana and I think it's just like the cutest little lounge set I've posted some photos in it already but it is actually so comfortable and I genuinely really really like the sports bra as well um, styled as like a crop top with jeans and stuff like that so I feel like after quarantine I'll definitely be still getting some wear out of this um, but obviously these lounge sets are a little bit more like fashion forward less like practical because obviously they're like very high-waisted and more so just for like lounging around the house and that type of deal um, But I really really like it I also think you could probably wear the skims bralette as a top as well So yeah, I just like really like little two-piece sets right now and that's like all I've been wearing around the house Okay, the next favorite is actually on my feet right now and that is slippers and specifically these slippers you guys literally every time I wear these slippers on my Instagram stories you guys all freak out um, so I thought I would officially link them here in this video I feel like I've linked them a hundred times on my Instagram stories but I'll have them here linked down below they're by the brand my mom made it and they're just like my all-time favorite slippers they're so comfortable so cozy but they're not like suffocating since they're like a little bit of a sandal so they're like the perfect slipper and then the last fashion favorite I guess you could say I guess it's like not very fashion but it's still in this category I would say um, but that is like active wear and workout gear and stuff um, and as you guys know I recently started doing yoga every morning and I've been absolutely loving it definitely recommend if you're thinking about it or if you've never tried yoga um, I think it's just like so good and we'll talk about it a little later because yoga is definitely one of my favorites so I want to talk about the workout gear first because I don't know about you guys but I need to look cute if I'm gonna work out like I don't feel motivated Motivated if I don't have a cute little workout set or like a cute oversized t-shirt whatever the case is I just feel like if you look cute you feel more motivated so I thought I would just highlight one of them today but obviously I have so many other favorite workout brands that I love but um, I've been currently so obsessed with this pink Saski collection one 
I don't know what it is you guys but the fabric is like butter it is the softest material I've ever experienced in workout gear um, but mind you I haven't tried like all workout gear under the Sun yet so Currently, this is my favorite, but let me know if you guys have any other favorites that you recommend because I obviously love all of my other workout gear as well, but it's just something about this material that's like the most comfortable. And then obviously the color is just to die for. So definitely one of my favorites. I've been wearing it a few times to do yoga and I feel like every time I put this workout outfit on, I just like feel the most confident. So definitely had to mention it. Okay, and then last but not least, this is technically fashion I would say, but Pajamas can be fashion, you guys. It's all good. We're in quarantine, so that's kind of the only fashion we can do. But I recently discovered these pajamas on Pretty Little Thing, you guys, and I recently talked about it on my Instagram stories, but I just can't get enough of them. They are so cute. I'm absolutely obsessed with the little lace trimming, the little shorts. They're just so adorable. Um, the material is so breathable. I don't know how to explain it, but this is like my ideal sleeping material, if that makes any sense. It's kind of just like a cotton, but it's just so breathable and so comfortable, so soft. And I just find it looks like I got them from like a vintage store because they're just like so vintage looking and cute and that's so my vibe. So I also got them in a gray in the long pants and I've talked to you guys about them on stories before. So if you guys haven't seen them or checked them out already, I'll have it linked down below if they're not sold out because they're definitely a gem in the Pretty Little Thing website. Okay, and then the next category is beauty. And the first beauty favorite of mine is bubble baths. And I feel like bubble baths have saved me in quarantine, you guys. Like, I feel like if I'm stressed or if I'm anxious or I'm sad or I'm in like a quarantine mood that I know we keep like going in and out of all of us, um, if I take a bubble bath, I just feel so much better. I feel so relaxed and it just kind of starts my day or ends my day on a really positive note. Obviously, I'm not promoting to take baths every day because that is such a waste of water. Um, however, if you're taking a bath like once a week, that is totally fine. And I feel like if it's really helping your happiness or if you're, it's helping your like mental health, um, I see no problem with it. So definitely take a bath if you have one. And if you don't have a bath, obviously just like a long hot shower always does the trick. Okay, the next beauty favorite is actually a beauty bag and I recently got it. It is this adorable Gucci monogram beauty bag and I absolutely love it. I've actually been eyeing it for a while now and I thought what better time to get a bougie ass beauty bag than in quarantine because beauty is like the only thing we can do right now. So I picked the smaller one out. I believe there's a bigger one, but I wanted to try the smaller one first and see if I actually used it. And then maybe I'll go for the bigger one. But I think it is so cute. It's actually quite roomy. It has like a green interior, like an emerald green. And I think it's so chic and super cute. And obviously it's a little bit of a steeper price point for a beauty bag, but I also think it's a very cute like bedside table accessory. I tend to keep like my scrunchies and my clips and my lip balms and stuff like that in here beside my bed um, so that it's like easy access to grab but it's also like a cute little accessory to place because obviously it's a designer item so you want to have it on display because if you're gonna spend the money you want people to see it and you want to use it a ton so I think it's so adorable and I absolutely love it so I had to add it in my favorites Okay, and then the next favorite is actually in the bag, um, and that is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. And I actually just recently did a partnership with them um, talking about the Lip Butter Balm, which was the most organic collaboration I've probably ever done because I genuinely fell in love with this before they even reached out to me. So the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm, you guys, is so worth the hype. It's so good. I'm obsessed with it. It smells like vanilla. Um, I have a whole Instagram post talking about it in general if you guys want to check it out, but um, yeah, definitely worth the hype and it's just such a good lip balm. So I'm so glad I got my hands on it and it is officially a part of my beauty routine. Okay, the next beauty favorite is a little bit extra, but it is the Chanel eye patches. And obviously you don't need to get the Chanel ones to do the trick. You can totally go to a drugstore or go to your local Sephora or I guess order online right now because everything's closed. But um, you can obviously get more affordable versions of this, but, but I ended up splurging and getting the Chanel ones and I don't regret it for a second, you guys. I'm obsessed. I try to use them sparingly, obviously, because they were quite expensive. Um, however, I think they're so bougie, so cute, and they have to be a favorite. So definitely just like in general, eye patches have been saving the day during quarantine. 
Okay, so my next beauty favorites are actually hair clips and scrunchies. So I feel like in quarantine, I have not been washing my hair as much as I usually would. Um, and I've definitely been like putting my hair up since it's growing out and I can't get a haircut. So I've been really abusing scrunchies and claw clips. So as you guys know, I already did like a full claw clip hair tutorial on this YouTube channel if you guys wanna watch it. It's kind of like my everyday go-to quarantine hairstyle. Um, and I've been using this specific claw clip the entire time. If this ever breaks, like I'm screwed because it's my only claw clip, you guys. And I love it. It's actually from Aritzia, I believe. So if it's still available, I'll have it linked down below. Um, and then, like I said, another favorite is scrunchies. And and actually, one of my good friend hand makes these scrunchies, and they're pretty much made out of designer dust bags, which I think is so genius. She's pretty much recycling all of her old designer dust bags, and she turns them into super adorable scrunchies. So I don't know if you can tell, but this one's the Gucci monogram. Um, and it's just this like brown duster bag and I have so many I have like a Chanel one I have a Prada one. I have another Gucci one Like I have so many cute little designer scrunchies, but they're pretty much just an affordable version to wear designer And I think it is such a cute idea so genius and on top of that they're actually high quality scrunchies So I've been obsessed. I think they're so cute and I can't stop wearing them Okay, so another beauty favorite has to be my creaseless clips that I put in my hair every morning to do my makeup. They are so cute. They're baby pink, and they also came in a pack of white and black as well. Um, I got them off Amazon. I'll have them linked down below if they're still available. And they just like save my life doing my makeup. I keep them in my hair like when I'm just wanting my hair out of my face, especially with my bangs, you guys. They're growing out and getting kind of annoying. So um, these guys are a lifesaver if I don't want to like crease my hair and I just kind of want to put my bangs back for the afternoon or for a few hours, whatever I'm doing. So these guys are just super cute and I feel like every girl needs these in her beauty closet, so genius. Okay, and then the next beauty favorite is actually these two face tools and this is the Jade Roller and then I believe this is called a Gua Sha. <laughs> If I'm pronouncing that right. But if you guys saw my beauty skincare fridge video, then you guys have already seen these tools. But I think they're just so great for skincare every morning to get them fresh out of the beauty fridge. Um, they're super cold and they make your skin feel so good. They depuff your skin. Um, both of these tools do different things, so you guys can do your own research if you guys are interested. Um, but I definitely recommend they're just like great tools to have, especially for just like self-care, beauty days, when you wanna have self-care days. These are so luxurious to use. Um, I think I got both of these from Shoppers Drug Mart. So you could totally get the drugstore version. They're obviously more high-end ones as well, but um, I got the drugstore versions and they work just as well. Okay, and then my last beauty favorite is just not wearing makeup in general. I feel like in quarantine, I have worn the least makeup I've ever worn in my life. I feel like it's so refreshing and so nice to not have to put makeup on every day. But I feel like I've talked to you guys about this on Instagram stories for a bit as well. Um, but I feel like I've just been more confident with my skin and more real with you guys on Instagram. So before I felt like it was kind of a standard to always wear makeup on my stories and always wear makeup on Instagram in general, but I feel like lately I've really become confident and able to just not wear makeup on the camera. So that's been super nice and you guys have been so sweet about it obviously um, and that's just made me not wear makeup a lot more. So I've been really loving letting my skin breathe and just give myself like skincare days um, and it's just been like very relaxing and nice. So definitely one of my favorites. It's not a specific item but doing that has really helped me during quarantine. Okay, so now on to lifestyle. So I mentioned it a little bit earlier in the video, but I have been obsessed with yoga. You guys already know this if you follow me on Instagram. I have been doing yoga pretty much every single morning since I got my yoga mat. And I know it's only been like two weeks so far, but it has been such a game changer and it completely changed my day. I feel like I have so much more energy. I feel like I'm a lot happier as a person in general. I don't know what it is. I feel like I never knew that working out in the morning would do such good to your life. So, and I know all of my friends and Steven, everyone always told me that. And I always was like, no, I don't wanna work out. I don't wanna Work out um, but then honestly I started trying it and it's not like I do intense crazy workouts every morning it's honestly just like a nice stretch and I'll follow like a simple 30 minute yoga class on YouTube I follow lululemon there's yoga with Adrian there's so many different girls that you guys have recommended to me that I've been loving so yeah yoga in general has made quarantine a lot better and honestly just like my life a lot better so so highly recommend if you guys haven't started yoga yet 
Okay, another lifestyle favorite that I've been loving in quarantine, and I feel like I have been doing since the day we started quarantine, was cooking. And cooking has been such a fun hobby for Stephen and I. We have been cooking up a storm in our kitchen. I feel like it has a lot to do with also like moving out and actually having to cook for ourselves now. And it was just like perfect timing that quarantine started when we moved out. Um, but honestly, just cooking has been such a fun hobby and like baking um, and doing just like really fun recipes. Also with you guys on Instagram, Instagram, I started a little segment on my Instagram stories called cooking with Emma and it's just been so fun to share some recipes with you guys as well But honestly just like who doesn't love cooking and then getting to eat it after like food is the best part of life and Especially when you make it. It's so rewarding. Okay, so my next favorite you guys is a recent favorite And I've talked to you guys about it on Instagram and on YouTube on the vlogs but Steven and I got a Nintendo Switch, finally. We were wanting one for a little while, but as you guys know, if you're looking for one as well, they are sold out literally everywhere, and I do not understand, well, I mean, I do understand why, but Nintendo needs to start making more because everyone, you guys all messaged me when I got it, and you're like, where did you find it, where did you find it? So clearly it's a very hot commodity right now, um, but we actually ended up getting one off Craigslist, brand new, which was great and worked out perfectly. Um, and we recently got the game, what games did we get? We got Super Mario Bros. We got Super Smash Bros. Steven just downloaded it last night. I haven't played that though. Um, we got Mario Kart and Animal Crossing, which has just been a really fun thing for us in quarantine. And it's just kind of helped pass the time and it's just like a fun little activity to do. Um, obviously it's still on technology, so it's not like getting us off of technology, but playing video games is just like such a fun pastime and good for your mental health, so it's great. Okay, so my next lifestyle favorite is candles. Um, but not just candles. I mean candles in general. Yeah, we light candles every single day I feel like my day isn't complete without lighting a candle because I just love the scents And I just love the ambiance that a candle gives your house or your home or your room wherever you're living I feel like it just kind of changes the scenery But anyways, I wanted to show you guys a specific candle because I've talked about these on Instagram stories a little bit um, But I feel like I need to make it more known because it's such a life hack but Ikea sells these candles. I forget what they're called. I think they're called like Smegleg or something super weird. But I'll link them down below. But they're pretty much, I think, like $2.99 a pop. So affordable. They come in a small version and a big version, which I think it's like $2.99 and $3.99. Um, so affordable. And not everyone knows this, but they smell, you guys, so good and so luxurious. And all you have to do is take off the ugly ass sticker that comes on it, you peel it off, and then it looks so luxurious. Like, doesn't this candle look so expensive? So expensive, it looks so good. It also smells very expensive. And I feel like I've just been ordering these off Ikea like a crazy person. And I definitely recommend you guys, they're so good and so affordable, like I said. So just a good life hack, um, because I have these like all around the house and they're so cute. Okay, so my next lifestyle favorite is kind of lame and so adult of me, but I have been obsessed with my Dyson vacuum, you guys. The Dyson vacuum has like changed the vacuum game for me and I actually enjoy vacuuming. I think it's such a therapeutic thing for me now. So obviously it is an investment and we decided to invest in it when we got the apartment and I do not regret it for a second, you guys. It is so beautiful, so stunning queen. Um, so yeah, I just had to add that in my favorite and I know it's kind of weird, but... It is one of my favorites and I'm not ashamed to say it. The next favorite is coffee and coffee is such a huge part of our lives. You guys know um, every single morning we do our little coffee routine and I didn't want to like name drop a specific coffee brand that I'm loving because I've honestly been loving a ton of different brands. But so I just wanted to kind of highlight coffee in general, like the routine of doing our morning coffee every day, adding our honey, doing our milk froth, and all of the routine that we do every single morning with you guys on Instagram stories is just such a therapeutic thing for me as well. And obviously it's just such a huge part of my quarantine routine, if you will. Um, I feel like it kind of keeps me sane and I can't start my day without it. So coffee to me has been a great tool to kind of keep me happy, keep me busy, um, and just kind of keep my spirits high because I feel like coffee is the best thing in the morning. A 
fresh cup of coffee. And the last lifestyle favorite, I guess you could say, is fresh flowers. And fresh flowers, again, is something little that has kind of added happiness. And it just kind of makes me happy, honestly, having fresh flowers around the house. Obviously, not everyone's like that, but I feel like in general, if you find that little thing that just will help you be happier and help you feel more calm and make your surroundings a little bit more pretty around you, um, that'll definitely help your quarantine experience. So fresh flowers for me have been great every time we go to the grocery store, which is obviously not too often, um, but we try to pick up flowers at the same time to always have some type of flower in the apartment um, and also like flower delivery services also you could do if you're not wanting to leave your house I feel like those businesses are also suffering so if you guys want to support your local florist or whatever um, that's all also a really good idea because who doesn't love fresh flowers you guys like fresh white roses around the house is just so luxurious and such a treat okay that is it for lifestyle so I guess we'll move on to music and entertainment so the first favorite is music and music I feel like is such a huge part of everyone's lives I feel like everyone loves music who doesn't like music but especially in quarantine I feel like it definitely brings the mood up and me and Steven recently got a Google home um, for our apartment when we moved in and that Google home has like saved our sanity I feel like we play music 24 hours a day if not more you guys like we are playing music when we wake up we're playing music when we're cooking we're playing music when we're just literally doing nothing obviously I'm not playing music now because I'm filming but um, music is always playing in our apartment whether it be like calm music in the morning or if it's like classical music like feel-good music or if it's like Steven's like rap that's like blasting loud like it, there's always just some type of music playing so i feel like the google home playlists have been really helpful it's really easy just to be like hey google i don't want to say it because she's going to turn on she just makes it so easy to like turn music on and play different playlists and whatever you're feeling you can just like yell it at her and she'll play it so it's great let's talk about some shows that i've been loving in quarantine you guys um, if you guys do follow me on instagram then you already know the first one i'm going to talk about but dynasty you guys I binged within I think like a week. It was so good. Dynasty is now like one of my favorite shows. I'm obsessed with the actors on the show. I'm obsessed with the storyline. It's very much so like Gossip Girl, that kind of vibe of a show. So that's definitely my cup of tea and I recently started it, loved it. I'm actually gonna be moving on to season two soon, but I had to wait for my friends to catch up to me so we could all watch it together. So yeah, Dynasty, you guys, highly recommend. I know a ton of you guys have started watching the show since I mentioned it and since I like was freaking out about it. So I love that we were like all watching the first season together and it was just like such a fun thing to do. So definitely Dynasty, highly recommend. So Dynasty is definitely one of those shows that's like binge worthy, but like interesting and suspenseful and like dramatic and stuff. But I also love shows that are like very lighthearted and like you don't really have to think about watching them when you're watching them, if that makes sense. So there's a new show on Netflix, you've probably heard of it, but Too Hot to Handle. Um, it is such a raunchy, kind of like Love Island. I don't really watch Love Island, but I know that it's very similar to Love Island. And it's pretty much just like a bunch of young adults go to this island and they have like challenges and they all make out with each other. It's just like a very like lighthearted, easy show to watch, but it's really funny and entertaining. Um, and I definitely recommend if you guys are looking for a show that's like you don't need a brain to watch it, if that makes sense. Okay, the sun keeps coming in and out of the clouds, so bear with me. But the next favorite is Disney Plus. And Disney Plus, you guys, has been a lifesaver for me in quarantine. You guys know I'm obsessed with Disney movies. All I watch is pretty much Disney. Um, so Disney Plus has been great. Um, obviously, we've been watching all of the classic Disney movies, but we also watched the Imagineering docu-series, which we binged for a few days. And it's honestly so good. It's pretty much, if you guys are a fan of Walt Disney and like Disney in general, you guys will really like it. It's pretty much like how Walt Disney creates, created Disneyland and all of that good stuff. So it pretty much is his come up. And it's really cool to see like the behind the scenes of how they make movies and how they make the theme parks. Um, it's just like really cool. So we watched that and that was really good. And then the final favorite for movies for me has been classic movies and kind of like musicals and stuff. I feel like those are always really fun to watch for me personally. So I feel like in general, if you guys just find your favorite movie genre and go on Netflix or Disney Plus or Hulu, whatever you watch on and search up that, whether that be like chick flicks or classic movies or 90s movies or horror movies, whatever your thing is, I feel like search up that category and just like 
binge all of those movies because obviously you'll like it and it'll help you pass the time and kind of keep your time enjoyable. So for me, I love musicals, obviously. So we watched Grease last night, which was really fun. Um, and just like musicals like Hairspray and The Greatest Showman, I love those movies. So for me, watching movies that I really enjoy obviously is a lot more enjoyable than movies you don't wanna watch. So find your genre that you like and choose from that section. So I think that's a good tip. I feel like people spend hours scrolling through Netflix or Hulu, whatever, and you never can find a movie. So always just go to your favorite genre and you'll definitely find something. So yeah, those are all of my current favorites right now in quarantine edition. Um, I feel like these things have definitely helped the whole quarantine situation move faster and be more enjoyable because obviously you need to keep yourself busy in your four walls because we have to be social distancing and staying inside. So I feel like it's really important just to make your space like a safe and happy environment. And these are the things that have done it for me. So hopefully you guys got some good inspiration from this video and you took away some things. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video. Bye.